contact package or enhanced invisible view. At Papa Murphy's, we're making flavor magic for just $8. Introducing the new Combo Magnifico, a magical combination of giant pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms, and onions, all for just $8. Bake it yourself, then make it disappear. We make it, you bake it, Papa Murphy's. News breaks when it wants. It doesn't have a script or a schedule, so we don't cut things short just to hand it over to network news. When the other guys go to New York, we stay local. Fox 13's Good Day Utah. Let's connect. Live from Fox 13 Studios, this is Fox 13 News at 9. It's almost time Utahns have two days to make a decision before ballots are due for Tuesday's presidential primary. Despite only a few Democratic delegates up for grabs, candidates are making a last-ditch effort to connect with Utah voters. Fox 13's John Franke caught up with Senator Amy Klobuchar, who's trying to stay alive in the race. Pledged Democratic delegates will be awarded on Super Tuesday here in Utah. That's a small fraction compared to huge prizes in states like California and Texas. But Senator Amy Klobuchar is not treating Utah like a flyover state. She joined us this morning on Good Day Utah. I don't think you should leave parts of the country behind. As she tries to stay relevant in a race where candidates like Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden are separating themselves from the rest of the field, Amy Klobuchar is turning to Utah to find success on Super Tuesday. Nearly a third of the country will be voting. So far, we've had something like 3-4% of the country vote. After a strong third-place finish in New Hampshire, the senator from Minnesota struggled to earn 4% of the vote in the Nevada caucus and 3% in South Carolina's primary. With time running out, Klobuchar believes she offers a moderate alternative to current frontrunner Senator Bernie Sanders. I also think that some of his ideas are they sound good, I know that, um, but the difference between a plan and a pipe dream, a plan is something you can get done. So what does Klobuchar plan on getting done? She opened up to us about her father's struggle with alcoholism. Mental health and substance abuse are two issues she wants to tackle. What I've seen in my own family, I think everyone has that same right to be pursued by grace, and that includes people with mental illness. And I know we can build on what we have right now in place and do a much better job if we have a president that's willing to make it a priority. She may face long odds to secure the nomination, but Klobuchar isn't talking about bowing out of the race. She's banking on her ability to reach across the aisle. I've been working with your, uh, one of your Republican senators actually on the issue of antitrust and making sure that small businesses are able to thrive. Mix in her Midwest values and she believes she's the candidate who can thrive here in Utah and across the country. You really need a broad coalition. And finally, I want to bring decency back to the White House. I think that uh, people are tired of the mean tweets and the drama um, and the attacks on people. And that's just not what our country is about. You can see Senator Klobuchar tomorrow. She'll hold a rally at the depot in downtown Salt Lake at 9 a.m. In the newsroom, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah. And candidate Bernie Sanders will also be in Utah tomorrow. The Vermont senator, he's holding a rally at the Utah State Fair Park. That's going to start at noon. And we will have live coverage of both Senator Sanders and Senator Klobuchar's rallies tomorrow on the later editions of Fox 13 News. Now to an update to a deadly wrong way crash that happened in Parley's Canyon Saturday morning. We now know the name of the driver. Troopers say 23-year-old Evan Thomas was going the wrong way on I-80 East bound near, near mile marker 133 when he crashed into a semi head on. They say he was not wearing a seatbelt. It's been a few days since Chad Daybell, the husband of the mom to J.J. Vallow and Tylee Ryan, has returned to Idaho from Hawaii, but he's already been getting a stern message from the family of the two Idaho children missing since September. Larry Woodcock, the grandfather of J.J., has been outspoken for months, pleading for J.J. and Tylee's safe return alongside his wife, Kay. This morning, he appeared on Fox and Friends and has this to say to Chad. Please do a lot of soul searching. Somewhere in that vicinity, there are two children and we want them back safe. Yeah. And we hope that you will have this come to Jesus meeting with yourself and address these issues as soon as possible. Lori Vallow Daybell is set to be extradited from Hawaii to Idaho to face several charges against her in the coming days. 
Two BYU students are being nationally recognized for choosing the right. Teams from 21 universities across the country competed in an ethics and engineering competition. Hayden Gunnell and Heather Sidaway, a business student and an engineering student from BYU, made their case against the other groups in a fictional ethical business issue, and they came out on top. We tried to take a creative approach because we feel like ethics, sometimes people make ethics out to be this binary right and wrong. And it is good to always shoot for the right, but it's even harder when you're choosing between right and right. But I think ultimately, it's easier to live by your ethics 100% of the time than 99% of the time because it becomes this really slippery slope where suddenly you can't trust anybody on the market. And this was the second time that Hayden and Heather have won this competition. Still to come tonight, he's just summited the highest volcanoes on all seven continents. He's from right here in Utah. We talk with Dave Roskelly coming up on three questions with Bob Evans. Coming up in sports, the Red Rocks needed to get another big performance on the beam, and the Utes flying at the combine, led by this guy, Javelin so Gidry. Look at that one. Yep. Fox 13's Ben Winslow, part of Utah's number one news team. Road conditions can change in a matter of seconds. With available four motion all wheel drive, your Volkswagen can too. The 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan with available four motion all wheel drive for better handling on a variety of terrain. This President's Day leases stylish and powerful 2020 Volkswagen Tiguan S4 Motion for just $239 a month at your local Volkswagen dealer. For 35 years, Bathfitter makes it easy to remodel your bath or shower. Hi, I'm Bill Booman. And I'm Rick Booman from Bathfitter. From your free in-home consultation to your installation, we're with you every step of the way, all backed by our lifetime warranty. Bathfitter's exclusive seamless wall surround gives you the look of tile, slate, or marble. You'll love the result. Save time and money with Bathfitter. From Logan to St. George, we serve all of Utah. Call now and receive up to $450 off or 18 months no interest. It's, it's better, better with Bathfitter. She's a janitor's daughter who has become one of the country's fiercest advocates for the middle class. She came up with an idea for a new independent agency standing up for consumers and middle class families. She's done it while facing some very tough opposition. Fortunately, she's very tough. Elizabeth understands what I strongly believe, that a strong, growing economy begins with a strong and thriving middle class. I'm Elizabeth Warren and I approve this message. We switched. I switched to Chevy. <laughs> I switched for more room. We switched. Why do we switch? For adventure. For this. See why people are switching to Chevy. I'm never switching back. Find your reason to switch. Get 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 cash allowance on most Equinox models. Or current competitive owners get $5,000 total cash allowance. Huge tax breaks for the rich while the middle class continues to struggle. That's what happens when billionaires are able to control the political system. Our campaign is funded by the working people of this country. Those are the people that I will represent. No more tax breaks for billionaires. We are gonna guarantee healthcare to all people and create up to 20 million good paying jobs to save this planet. I'm Bernie Sanders and I approve this message because we need an economy that works for all of us, not just wealthy campaign contributors. Well, today, Utah Gymnastics hoping to secure a Pac-12 regular season championship. Yeah, they've never done that before, but it's the first time they outplayed or competed against all the Pac-12 teams, and so they have a champion during the regular season. They took on Washington today, 13th ranked Washington. These got off to a great start on the bar. Missy Reinstadler came up big, sticks to landing. She won the event with a 9.925. Then on the vault, another anchor put up a big score. Kim Thiessen won the vault with a score of 9.925. Ryan Stadler put up another great score on the floor. She also won that event with a 9.925, but the Utes trailed going into the final event, and once again, they came through on the beam. Adrian Randall, Kristen Issa, and Abby Paulson all finished tied for second with 9.950s. That helped the Red Rocks move past the Huskies to win a tight one, 197.675 to 197.600. The Utes, a perfect 10-0 and the regular season champs of the Pac-12. 
Utah defensive backs were impressive at the NFL Combine today, especially Javelin Gidry. Ran at 4.29 in the 40-yard dash, the second fastest time in the NFL Combine this year. Terrell Burgess also impressive here with a 4.46, and Jalen Johnson ran a 4.50. In the NBA, big matchup between the Philadelphia 76ers and LA Clippers. Kawhi Leonard with the jam. He had 30 points for LA. Shake Milson had a big game for Philly. The steal and the finish. Two of his 39 points. Then in the third quarter, it's Paul George. Steps it back and hits the three. He finished with 24 points in this one. Then in the fourth quarter, the Sixers throw it away. It's Montrell's Harrell. Clippers won at 136-130. Giannis Antetokounmpo had a big game for the Milwaukee Bucks against the Charlotte Hornets. First, he drives in for the throwdown. Then he pulls up, hits the three. And then how about this play in the fourth? Spins and powers it to the rim. He had 41 points, 20 rebounds, and six assists, leading the Bucks to a 93-85 win. NASCAR at Fontana, California. They honor Jimmy Johnson, his final race in his home track. Alex Bowman led 110 laps, stayed in front after the final pit stops to cruise to the win. 26-year-old from Arizona grew up racing in nearby Pomona. And final round of the Honda Classic on the PGA Tour. Mackenzie Hughes with a long birdie putt on the 17th hole on the Bear Trap. And he rolls it in. That gave him a share of the lead of 500 par. But moments later, he didn't have the lead. His playing partner, Sung J M, matched it with a birdie of his own to give him the solo lead at six under par. M then tapped in for par on the 18th hole to take the clubhouse lead at six under par. Could anybody catch him? Tommy Fleetwood had a chance. Birdie putt on the 17th. He also rose this one in to get one shot back at five under par. So he had a chance going into the par five, 18th. Fleetwood went for the green in two, but a little too much fade as you see by that blue line lands in the water that ended his hopes M won it his first win on the PGA Tour coming up on the Fox 13 sports page we'll check in with the Jazz they snapped their four game losing streak heading on the road Real Salt Lake started their season yesterday and we have a great story on Utah basketball player Timmy Allen and what drives him on the court yeah, since the All-Star break, the Jazz didn't put on a show much at home, which was kind of no. the opposite before then. Maybe it's a good thing they hit the road for four Boy, straight? it didn't help that they were home and lost four straight. I know, that's four crazy. Ending that skid, we'll see how they do on the road. All right, thank you, Jeff. All right, let's take another look at satellite radar across the state. The front that hit northern Utah bringing the snow. Now the focus turning towards southern Utah. We're seeing a push of some moisture and some showers coming in from the, the south, bringing rain to St. George, snow to Cedar City. Moving northward, does it make it move towards northern Utah by tomorrow morning? We're going to let you know after the break. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, it just collapsed. <laughs> Possible cardiac event. Only one episode left. Austin Fire and Rescue! Until the epic season finale. Take out you hit! Monday at 7 on Fox 13. Hey, what's up? I'm Fox 13's Big Buddha. Every day at 1 o'clock, you can find me right here on The Place. What is The Place? It is the best lifestyle show, hands down. Bam! There's a reason the Honda CRV is the best selling crossover utility vehicle of the decade. Honda reliability, safety, and high resale make owning a new Honda beyond compare. And now drive a new Honda crossover from only $189 a month. When you compare, you know you want a Honda. Visit UtahHondaDealers.com. Now at Mr. Mac, an unbeatable value on men's suits. Buy one suit at $299, get the second for a dollar. It's an event six months in the making. We worked with a leading manufacturer on a special purchase of over 5,000 men's suits. Choose slim or traditional fit in a wide range of sizes and colors. Now, while supplies last, buy one suit at $2.99, get the second for a dollar. It's an unbeatable value at all nine Mr. Mac stores. Still offering free, fast alterations. It's the Hyundai President's Day sales event, where you'll find monumental savings, plus a mountain of Hyundai's best benefits. It starts with great deals across the entire lineup of cars and SUVs. And now, every new 2020 Hyundai comes with complimentary maintenance, plus the peace of mind of America's best warranty. Hurry into the President's Day sales event, but don't wait, because the huge savings end soon. Get 0% APR on the Tucson and Santa Fe, or 2,500 in savings on the Tucson. Only at your Utah Hyundai dealer. Ice cream. All right, we gotta stop here first. 
From smarter ATMs to after-hours video tellers, Comcast Business is connecting thousands of banks to technology that turns everyday transactions into extraordinary experiences. Hi there, how are you? Do you have any lollipops in there? No, sorry. We're helping all kinds of businesses go beyond customer expectations. How can we help you? Comparing Honda to the competition, that's already been done. Both Civic and Accord are best compact and mid-size by KBB, and Civic is most wanted by Edmunds. Drive a new Honda Civic LX, 189 a month. When you compare, you know you want a Honda. Visit utahondadealers.com. Fox 13, Scott McKay, part of Utah's number one news team. Well, the snow pushed away here throughout the afternoon across northern Utah, still leaving us with some clouds, but some cold temperatures. Look at the winds out of the northwest at 10 miles per hour. This cool northwesterly flow will persist here for the next couple of days, keeping temperatures below normal. We only made it in the 30s today along the Wasatch Front. Getting back into the 40s, but as a reminder, for this time of year, we should be close to 50 degrees. Currently in St. George, we've got temperatures in the uh, mid-40s. Rain showers right now. You can see the rain there on the surface. It's going to be a wet evening across southern Utah. St. George, you're mainly looking at rain. Could see a mixture of rain and snow. No accumulation. However, moving up through Cedar City, the snow is falling right now. Accumulating, we're expecting to see one to two inches here in the overnight hours, as well as over towards Panguitch. Moving further northward, you'll see the snow flakes. Less accumulation though, less than an inch as you can see from Ridgefield, Manti, all the way over towards Green River. So the focus is mainly south central towards southwestern Utah. Mountains look to pick up anywhere between three to six inches. But again, along I-15, a concern here as we'll see the snow falling through the overnight hours waking up. Of course, snow crews trying to clean off the roads, but still will be a concern along I-15 corridor as you make your move from Cedar City up through Beaver and even further north through Fillmore. Now, northern Utah, Few clouds around, maybe an isolated mountain shower, but this storm has been winding down. No concerns for your morning commute, except as we are going to have very cold temperatures below freezing. Yeah, as we've been seeing icy roads, that will be the situation for tomorrow. Now we have this low pressure system moving toward the California coast. It's pumping in the moisture across the south in combination with that front that hit the state. It's going to keep active weather going across southern Utah. But as we take a look at our computer models, looking long range now for the next several days. The storm exits the state Monday morning, some isolated showers into the afternoon across the mountains, and that's about it. Then we get a break, keeping it cool though. Heading into Tuesday, could see some clouds, but the showers north of the state. And then we move to a westerly flow and then a southwesterly flow as we progress throughout the day, or excuse me, throughout the week. So Wednesday into Thursday, we're seeing that southwest flow. Temperatures climb as we'll start the work week off in the 40s. We're into the 50s by the middle of the week and 60s along the Wasatch Front as we head into Friday. Even seeing some 70s across southern Utah. Now, we'll see some clouds into Friday. Saturday, things begin to change. Late, an approaching storm system. Saturday night through Sunday, it starts hitting the state. Notice, though, it's mainly pink, where overnight we'll be looking at a mixture of rain and snow into Sunday. But mainly it's rain. We're not going to see a big temperature drop from that storm. It's not a cold one. But again, that's off another seven days. We'll keep our eye on that. We know for certain, though, the storm moving on. And as you can see, hour by hour forecast for the Wasatch Front. Clearing up, sunny skies tomorrow. So a sunny start to your work week. As we'll be looking at temperatures in the 20s, though, early morning hours. Highs getting up into the 40s, though, along the Wasatch Front. 30s in Logan. Looks like 40s through central Utah. Upper 50s in St. George. Again, that chance of an isolated shower across the mountains of south central Utah. Possibility as we head into the afternoon. Now for St. George. Once we get past the storm tonight, you've got the rain. Again, could see a mixture of rain and snow with overnight temperatures in the upper 30s, but don't worry about any accumulations, but some wet roads for your uh, Monday morning. Then by tomorrow afternoon into Tuesday, it's clearing up nicely. It's sunny and warming up. We're in the upper 60s by Wednesday, 70s by Thursday and Friday. Now for the weekend, we're mainly bringing in some clouds, not a big threat of showers. Northern Utah, okay, it's cool starting off. 40s. And then mid 40s Tuesday back into the 50s Wednesday. So we go from below average temperatures for the next couple of days above average back in the 60s by Friday. Late Saturday into Sunday, we start bringing that possibility of some showers. Again, it could be a mixture of rain and snow, but really on Sunday with temperatures in the 50s, it'll be mainly rain. So not bad there. Nothing that's going to bring us back to winter. 
but giving us a taste of spring and who knows, extending beyond that if we can. Maybe it's here to stay. Uh, I didn't, Kirsten I never, was really hopeful. I would never you say like, that, Mark. Don't you like how optimistic Ryan I am? Ryan is the new here. Right. Yeah, that's right. He's the new guy. Yeah. What does yeah. he know? Hey, maybe break. he'll stay. He I'm know. being hopeful. I, you're right. You we, would love we, that, we appreciate right? that I would. Hope. But meanwhile, I'm just still recovering from the whiplash that we had from yesterday. Today. And we're realists. And growing up in Utah, we know better. We do. I've know seen better. snow I'll in June. I'll learn my lesson soon. <laughs> that's well, right. Thanks, Rex. Uh -huh. He is an avid mountaineer with his eye on the next big challenge, a man who likes to do hard things and solve big problems. Dave Roskelly of Alpine just recently became the first American to summit the highest volcanoes on the seven continents. Of course, summiting the seven tallest peaks came before that, and before that, the granddaddy of them all, Mount Everest. I sat down with mountaineer Dave Roskelly and asked him three questions. hasn't an American conquered those seven volcanic summits yet? Uh, I think it's multifaceted in the answer. Part of it is, uh, I don't think many people have thought of it, it's kind of a new thing. So there's traditionally been the seven summits, which is the highest mountain on each continent, the seven volcanic, because we know volcanoes and mountains form differently. Uh, it's so new, I'm only, you know, I'm, I think I'm like the 19th human to do it first American. The reason why no American's done it yet is because the high point of it, the high volcano in Asia is Mount Damavand in Iran. And as an American, it's very difficult to go there, as you may be aware, with current events. So I was fortunate enough to go in 2018. And, and I will say I had an absolutely fabulous experience. It, it was great. The Iranian people were nothing but fun. When you ascended Mount Everest, um, you did so with a long string of about 100, 200 people that were yeah. going up all at the same time. And yet, you mentioned in previous uh, engagements, you've said that when you're on the mountain, you're on your own. It's every man for himself. The, yeah. Do you really feel like you're all alone in a crowd like that? Uh, you do, uh, because everybody is operating really at the limits of their ability. And so I climbed with a really good friend of mine, Steve Pearson, and our Sherpa was, uh, his name was Tile Nuru. So the three of us summited together, and before we went up, we went through all these permutations of, okay, if you get sick, what are, you know? What is your? Are you? You know, generally our idea was if somebody got sick, the Sherpa gets to go with them, and the you know whoever is feeling better has the option of going to the summit. But the Sherpa goes with the sick person, and if they're sick enough, then you're going down. But we talked about all the what do we do? What do we do if we come acro across somebody that was sick? And both of us agreed we're not going to step over them. We're going to help them. You know, that's the human thing to do, right? So, uh, it, it yeah, but you do feel alone because if 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 you have a problem, everybody else is in the same boat, and if they stop to help you, they might die as well. So it, it's a, it brings up some really interesting ethical questions. You've done an awful lot yeah. on the mountain. Mm -hmm. What's still on your bucket list? If you're familiar with the concept of a BHAG, a big, hairy, audacious goal, I always have one of those looming out there. So uh, my next goal is I want to go to the high point of the moon. Uh, it was the only high point. I, high point of the moon. It was only identified about 10 years ago. Uh, I don't think you would hike there with a backpack traditionally like you would in mountaineering. You'd drive something. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I'd love to do is uh, drive like a Tesla uh, <laughs> to, you know, something Tesla, get Elon Musk on board and go to the high point of the moon. Yeah. Are, are you taking steps to be able to do that? I would love it, yes, yeah. I, you know, it's interesting because uh, the, the current presidency has bumped up their time frame. They want to put a man back on the moon by 2024. So uh, this is, I think in the next five to 10 years, you're gonna see a big, big push. And then of course you have SpaceX. And quite frankly, I think it's gonna be Elon Musk is, if you're gonna go to the moon, it's gonna be with him. So, yeah. and, and I think if you wanna, if you wanna set uh, kind of set the bar and open up for, for travel to the moon and colonization and then travel to Mars, you need to go to the high point. 
<laughs> you, you need to you need to to say, hey, I've, I'm here, and then and then other people will come. So you're going to go from Dave Ross Kelly Mountaineer <laughs> to Dave Ross Kelly Mountaineer aus astronaut, correct? Sure. Yeah, I would love it. Wow. I think it's possible. It, you know, if you if you remember the Apollo missions, so 15, 16, and 17, they put lunar rovers on the moon and they drove around yeah. uh, on the moon. I remember yeah. that as yeah. a kid and seeing those lunar rovers, and they were electric. So why not? another electric vehicle up there. It's wow. possible. Yeah. Well, Dave Ross Kelly, the first American to conquer the volcanic seven summits, also conquered Everest, and who knows, maybe someday, the moon. There you go. Thanks so much Thank for being so part much. of Three Questions. Thank you. If you'd like to see Bob's full interview with Mountaineer Dave Roskelly, including what was the most difficult part of conquering the seven volcanic summits and how mountaineering has changed him, well, you can go to our website right now, fox13now.com, and listen to the full interview in podcast form. Just download it from wherever you get your podcasts. With the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel, you get best in class torque and towing, which gives you all the grit without sacrificing efficiency. Ram 1500, the most awarded light duty pickup in America. The new iMart Express is now open in Spanish Fork. Two pairs start at $38.71 and two pairs with progressive lenses just $76.92. For the best value in eyewear, come to iMart Express. Right glasses. Right price. Right now. Woo! At Speedway, we are always looking out for you. That's why we invest in industry-leading technology like our fast and secure pumps. Equipped with state-of-the-art card readers with the latest advances in credit card security to keep your information safe at thousands of Speedway locations. Which means when you fill up here, you know Speedway's got your back. So you can get what you need and get on your way. Official fuel of IndyCar. The problem with hanging on to the past is when you're always looking back, you can't see what's coming. Forward collision warning with emergency braking assist. Standard on Sorento SX, Telluride, and Sportage. Part of Kia's tough and ready lineup of SUVs. Right now, lease the 2020 Sportage LX all-wheel drive for $179 a month. Sizzler Steak, your choice of side and mini shrimp is back for only $9.99. For only a dollar more, you get all the golden mini shrimp your mouth can handle. $9.99 or pile on the shrimp for a dollar more for a limited time only. So hurry in, Sizzler. When you up at the top, the only way to go is down. We can go pretty far down from this big tall tower. Oh! This Lego challenge goes supersized. A mega city build. We are going really, really big. You guys want some glue? I know where I can get some glue. <laughs> but what goes up must come down. No! I seriously want to cry right now. Pushing one team to their breaking point. <gasps> Lego Masters. Wednesday at 8 on Fox 13. It's time to get a whole new perspective on Ram. See for yourself now during Ram President's Day event. Now, get an average $16,050 in total values on the 2019 Ram 1500 Classic Tradesman Crew Cab 4x4. Faster! Yes, Faster! Our home is the training ground for her dreams policy from American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Fox 13's Aaron Cox, part of Utah's number one news team. You're watching Fox 13 News. Let's connect. You're my best man. I love him so much, he's my best friend. A Donovan Mitchell fan's post-wisdom teeth rant went viral. This video was taken as the young fan was waking up from surgery, and there's Donovan's tweet. He even got a little kick out of himself. He threw the retweet up there with the caption, my new best friend. Now he's crying. He's crying for love, his yes, love for Donovan. I love him so much, he's my new best friend. That's what I say about Brad. <laughs> oh, Thanks for watching, Fox 13 News at 9. Quick cast up next, and then sports page.
Catch Booming Forward on Fox 13's Live at 4. <clears throat> There's just something to be said.